Imagine yourself as a fish in a pond, living your two-dimensional life. You're certainly oblivious to the three-dimensional world above you. One day, you're plucked from your world. You would then experience a completely new dimension, the world of up. This is a reality you couldn't even fathom before. To your perspective, you would see aliens walking around. This is a realm where beings breathe without water and they move without fins. Theoretical physicist Michio Kaku gives us this fascinating analogy. It's a little disconcerting, isn't it? This idea that there could be an entire universe beyond our perception. Well, as Professor Kaku suggested, we might just be like one of those fish. In physics, hyperspace refers to a space of higher dimensions. We're familiar with the three spatial dimensions, length, width, and height. But what if there's more dimensions than we can perceive? Extra dimensions, if you will, exist just outside our perception, yet still very much a part of the cosmos. We're going to journey beyond these hypothetical realms, a reality of the unknown, the unseen, and the unexperienced. Time as a dimension. Our journey begins in the late 19th century. A brilliant mathematician, Hermann Minkowski, was one of the many scholars striving to understand the intricate fabric of the universe. The stage had been set by the revolutionary work of physicists like James Clerk Maxwell. His equations of electromagnetism hinted at an intricate dance between the spatial dimensions and an entity as pervasive and fundamental, time. The pivotal piece of the puzzle fell into place with the groundbreaking work of a former student of Minkowski's. It's none other than Albert Einstein. In 1905, Einstein published his special theory of relativity. Its radical proposition says that space and time were not independent, but instead interwoven into a singular space-time fabric. It was Einstein's bold thinking that inspired Minkowski. As a mathematician, he sought a geometric understanding of Einstein's theory, a way to visualize the new space-time reality. His profound insight was the concept of a four-dimensional space-time continuum, where now, time serves as the fourth dimension alongside the three spatial dimensions we're familiar with. But that's not the whole picture. The laws of physics as we understand them seem to need more room than just four dimensions. In one way, they fit together nicely, but not perfectly. It's not until we move into hyperspace and begin the search for these higher dimensions. When you go to this larger pond, this pond of hyperspace, then all the laws of physics just fit together like a jigsaw puzzle. String theory, a fundamental theory aiming to unify quantum mechanics and general relativity, postulated that our universe is composed of tiny vibrating strings existing in ten dimensions. These strings, each vibrating at its own unique frequency, give rise to the diverse particles and forces we observe in our universe. However, in the 90s, scientists added a twist to the tale. Physicist Edward Witten revolutionized the field by introducing an eleventh dimension. It proposed that other higher dimensional objects called brains could exist and vibrate in this hyperspace. Under this perspective, our universe itself could be a gigantic membrane vibrating in this higher dimensional space. And so, our understanding of the universe evolved once more. These extra dimensions might not be small or hidden. They could be vast and possibly infinite. Like flies that are trapped on a sticky paper, we human beings are stuck in our universe, unable to perceive or interact with these higher dimensions. But if we look at one specific force in the universe, it might explain to us something. You see, there are forces around us that we often take for granted. One of which is gravity. Despite being a fundamental force, gravity is surprisingly weak. Think about it. When you decide to get up and go to the bathroom, you effortlessly overcome the gravitational pull of the entire Earth. It could be that gravity seeps across these dimensional brains, which in turn makes a great explanation for why gravity's force is so weak. In our universe, could this truly be the case? We can actually, perhaps, detect experimentally the presence of alternate universes. We can detect dark matter-like objects. 
from other universes hovering just above ours. This is not just science fiction. Our exploration into hyperspace naturally. Multiple time dimensions. Leads us to an even more mind-bending concept. The possibility of multiple dimensions of time. John William Dunn, an Irish engineer. And philosopher, produced a distinct body. Of work that continues to have a profound impact. In scientific and philosophical discourse. His conceptualization of time didn't stop. At a singular linear dimension. You see, in the realm of general relativity. Space and time meld together into. A block space-time. Dunn suggested we need this additional. Dimension to simply measure our progression. Along our individual timelines. For example, if a person stays inside. A supermassive black hole. How would you know that he is experiencing? A different passage of time. As opposed to ours. Are there multiple temporal dimensions? My belief is that we may be looking at. Something that has access to either four. Or six additional dimensions. You know, what they mean in physical reality. Consequently, this proposal necessitates. A novel tier of consciousness which functions. Within this secondary time dimension. But the plot thickens. Because the same reasoning. Applies to this new level. We need a third dimension of time. And a fourth, a fifth. And eventually spiraling into. An infinite regress. An infinite hierarchy of time dimensions. Each inhabited by corresponding levels. Of consciousness. And at the very end. Dunn envisioned something. Called a, superlative general observer. Existing in eternity. Multiple temporal dimensions would be. A decisive game changer. In terms of changing everything that we. Know about the world. If the prospect of multiple timelines feels. Overwhelming for you. Let's recalibrate our perspective. With the power of advanced computation. At my disposal. We'll now shift our gaze to a concept. That's a tad more tangible. A little more grounded. The thought experiment known as. The twin paradox. The next level of twin paradox. Imagine two twins. Perfectly identical in every way. Let's call them Ace and Bob. Ace, the adventurous one. Takes off into space. In a high-speed spaceship. While Bob remains on Earth. When the spacefaring twin returns. He is significantly younger than. The Earth-bound twin. This is the basic idea of the twin paradox. A consequence of Einstein's theory. Of relativity. But let's add another layer to this. Thought exercise. Suppose these twins share not only. Identical genetics. But also identical fates. This means that whatever genetic ailment. Befalls Bob will also affect Ace. Given enough time. Now, since Bob has aged more. He experiences this ailment first. Once they reunite, he can tell his younger twin. About it. For instance, when Bob was 53 years old. He developed colon cancer. Leading him to foretell Ace that he would. Also face the same cancer at 53. And perhaps some other genetic diseases. Throughout his timeline. So, Bob, having experienced more time. Can offer insights to his younger brother. About what lies ahead in their identical fate. In this scenario, we've established a system. Where the normal flow of time for Bob. Who aged normally, is essentially a higher. Temporal dimension compared to the time. Experienced by Ace. This takes the idea of the twin paradox. And adds an extra layer of complexity. Quite literally, an additional dimension. It makes us reconsider ingrained beliefs. About time, about causality. And about the very nature of our existence. 
Now, to aid us in the next level of this thought exercise, we'll be using a more general terminology. Instead of Ace and Bob, we'll speak of dimensions that we label as level alpha and beta. But it just doesn't stop here. We'll also expand these to encompass even higher dimensions. Alpha Alpha, 3D. A little bit of setup before we proceed to these hypothetical higher dimensions. Although we experience a tangible 3D existence, around us, we see a 2D representation of our environment through our eyes, which our brains then interpret to create a sensation of depth. This ultimately gives us a perception of a 3D world built from the flat two-dimensional input. We receive a similar concept has been proposed by cognitive scientist Donald Hoffman. Whatever reality is, you don't see it. You see a user interface. There's this whole new world beyond space-time that is making explicit symmetries that are true of the data that cannot be seen in space-time. If we extend this thought experiment to hypothetical higher dimensional beings, say those existing in the fourth dimension, these entities would likely capture a 3D snapshot of their surroundings. It might look like a 3D hologram inside their brains, which would then be processed to construct a perception of the 4D world around them. But this is not just about raw perception. With a higher dimension comes an expanded perspective, which open doors to a deeper comprehension of reality. A higher level being might have an all-encompassing view of our 3D world and perceive time as another navigable dimension. And just like in our twin analogy, Bob, who is in a higher level of understanding of Ace's timeline, is like having a bird's eye view of the whole maze so far. They can see the future of lower level beings.